The uh, next <coughs> misconception is that Muslims don't believe in Jesus. And I uh, refer the listeners and the viewers to the previous lecture, How We Separated, which was strictly dedicated to the, uh, what, what brought us together between, I mean, Muslims and Christians, and what separated us. And we detailed, alhamdulillah, the issue in regards to Jesus, what we believe uh, regards to him, and there's no harm in, in giving a brief, brief, small, you know, uh, presentation here in regards to that, in case you don't get to watch the lecture. We believe in Jesus. How can we not believe in Jesus when he's mentioned in our book 25 times? Yeah, and if he was mentioned once, you will say some Muslim, as they do in the Bible, will try to, you know, trying to take out that verse. Because, you know, we don't want to be with the Christians and, you know, the, the Qur'an is endorsing Jesus and we don't want to be agreeing with them. Let's take it out of the Qur'an. Which, even if there was one, ver one reference, we still can't do it because Allah will protect His book. But how about 25 times? 25 times. How about a chapter in the Qur'an called Mary? How about that? How about the only woman being mentioned by name in the Qur'an is Mary? How about that? So this is explicit. Anyone who reads the Qur'an will find Jesus mentioned often, his message being clarified, he is Abdullah, Allah gave him the book, he's a slave of Allah, Allah gave him the, the Torah and the Gospel, he gave him knowledge of the Torah and the Gospel, and he was dutiful to his mother, he was sent to Bani Israel only, just like the Bible said, I was only sent to the lost sheep of the children of Israel, his message is, is found in the Quran, we believe in him, even though they try to claim otherwise.